Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the motor height on a SEMA M14. First, I'm going to take the trigger guard right here and grab in front of the trigger and just pull on it as hard as you can. Once that's out, flip it back over and then you'll take the top part out of the body like this. It just pulls right out, except you've got a small Tamiya connector that goes to the stock. Pull that off and down with the stock for now. So then what you'll find on the back is, well, a lot of people have like an L looking thing. I believe that uses a larger Allen wrench to adjust, but I have this kind of screw with some red stuff on it. Not really sure what it is, but I've got this screw. And the good thing about this screw is it uses the Allen wrench that was provided with the gun. So I'm gonna set this down and grab that real quick. Here we go, real small, don't know the size. Used it in some other videos. And we'll need a battery for this. I've got a 9.6 here. So plug it in, take a test shot. That sounds pretty good to me. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to um, loosen it a bit, see what it sounds like, so you can know what a loose motor sounds like. So I've loosened it, pretty simple. Just put it into that screw and move it to the left. And if you listen, it's really hard to tell any difference. Um, one thing you can tell is if the motor's a little bit wobbly like this, or the uh, it's a bit of a squeaking sound before it fires. I'm going to tighten it a bit too much so you can hear what that sounds like. If you listen to this, horrible hissing sound. Well, I'm going to do that once. It's very bad for the gun. Um, makes that horrible sound. You don't want that because that's actually the sound of the gears grinding and it can mess up all your gears, make them unreusable, damages the gun, and it can also decrease your rate of fire and kill your battery faster. All around it's bad. So I'm going to adjust it to where it sounds good. Here we go. And pretty simple. You know, tighten it, just put it on there, turn to the right, loosen it, turn left. That simple. And uh, to put it back together, just the opposite of how you took it apart. So we'll take the battery off. Then we'll grab the stock. Connect to the small Tamiya connector to the stock. Slide this right back in there. Don't pinch the wires or anything in the stock while you slide it back in. Almost got it. There you go. There we go. It's a bit tough to get in there. Make sure it seats right. And uh, now that that's in there, all you got to do is grab that trigger guard from earlier. Now flip it over. And uh, there's a slot here. You're going to want to put this piece of it into that slot. So you line up the trigger and the safety. Make sure it's uh, pulled open like that while you're doing this. Slide it into that slot. Come on. <laughs> I'll be right back. There we go. Got it in. And then just pinch it closed. And there you go. All back together.